Hey, Coach Jen here. Uh, if you uh, have been with me for a while, you know exactly what you're getting into today. And if you're new, well then welcome. And now you're gonna finally know what everyone's been talking about. So we are focusing on body weight strength. Uh, the only things I need you to do as you settle into class is I'd like you to always have water on standby. That's a first and foremost. I would love you to have two hand towels, whether like dish rags, small washcloths, anything like that, kitchen or bath, doesn't matter. These are gonna be used on your feet. So if they're already dirty, that's fine. You can do laundry after. And then I do like a little bit of a mat underneath you. I'm working with tile in my home here, um, but it's nice to have something under your feet. You will need a wall today. And besides that, this is all you're gonna need. Uh, just you and me and uh, a bit of a smile and a bit of trust here. Today, the focus is 30 30s. That means 30 30 second bursts of full effort. Okay, I'm giving you strength movements from core and hips and legs. That's the focus today core, hips, legs. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds to crank as much as you can with control and quality. Then volume is third place. And then I'm going to give you 15 seconds. Then I'm going to let you repeat that three times. So you get four sets of strength moves per each exercise. Then we move right on to the next one. So keep your eyes on me. I'm gonna pace you through this. The first one, you are gonna need the towels. If you don't have the towels, I will show you a regression. Uh, most people have towels, but not everybody has a, a tile floor. So we're gonna get going in about 25 seconds. The first exercise is a planked knee pull. So you can be here on your elbows or on your hands. I prefer to be up here. And you're gonna alternate pulling one knee to the other, exhaling every time. And if you do have a slippery floor and the towels, we're doing the same movement with just these on our feet. We've got 30 seconds. The time is going, let's begin. I intentionally put this exercise first so we can warm up our core, our lungs, our full body with our breath. If you're not breathing, you're not moving. So remember, you get four shots at every exercise. No need to sprint just yet. I want you to groove the pattern, feel where your body's at today, and start to settle into a really good rhythm. And time. That was 30 seconds. If you're feeling a lot in your quads and your hips, make sure you start to exhale right before your leg moves up. We go in five, four, this will go quick, two, one, here we go again. It's almost like as I exhale, my core is firing so much that it's pulling my knee towards my chest. The great thing about breathing this way, you don't have to worry about breathing back in. The air will come back. You should also immediately already feel really warm. Breathing is gonna bring heat to you from the inside out. Rest, 15 seconds. I'm gonna up the ante with this next movement. Same plank knee pull, but I'm gonna piston my legs. Watch first, go second, three, two, one. Here is the advanced. If you don't have the sliding floor, you're just moving faster, or you could even jump switch. Peek at the screen. You could do this if you don't have sliders. Here we go. 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one, drop. Now, if you've been going through the first three sets and you've got no tile and only carpet in your house, if you have paper plates or even those plastic disc sliders, it works beautifully, but the paper plates are really easy to slide right up and down on that carpet. Fast transitions, we're back in it in three, two, go, last round for these. Then you're gonna bit your eyes on the screen and watch me for the next movement. This is where you pick up the pace. Control, quality, and then you get to pick it up. Come on, 10 seconds. Don't worry, we're gonna flip you over onto your back next. Three, two, one, good. 15 seconds rest. You're going to place your heels on those towels. You're going to lay down just like me, eyes on the screen. You're going to reach the leg and you're going to drive and pull. Reach hamstring curls. 
Time is rolling. In three, two, let's start it. Now this is gonna happen quickly. If you need to pause, rewind, do it, but don't take too much rest. These are strength movements. So I'm not just flailing my legs around here. I'm driving my heel into the ground, letting my hamstring fire up all the way until it ties into my glute attachment back here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just lay on the ground with me. So we're really focusing on just the hamstrings and the back of the leg. This gives us a chance to slow down our heart rate just a little bit from that first exercise. We're in three, two, one, back on 30 seconds again. So the good thing about this system that I've given you is that we're gonna go for 30 seconds and you get to know, kind of become familiar with the move. And then you get to do it three more times. True strength training requires volume. So that's why I'm giving you minimal rest and asking you to go right back in there and punch up those muscle bellies again. Squeeze in your leg as hard as you can. That's it, you got five seconds on the second set. Three, two, one, you're resting. If you need to, you can stretch them out. If you are not feeling your hamstrings, you can move them, your feet out a little bit. And if you're actually feeling a cramp in your hamstring, you can move your heels in just a little. All right, we'll come on your way. And three, two, one, round three. I do like alternating. As always, I like to level up if anybody's feeling ready for it. If you've got it in you, you could do a double knee pull. I, I'm sorry, I should say double heel pull for the double hamstring. I do not want you coming off the ground just yet. Really driving the heel into the ground. The greater pressure, the greater tension you create with the ground is the heavier the drag becomes. So you are in control of how hard or easy this is. Three, two, rest. It's almost like spin class, right? If, you're, if, you're, if your wheel's too light, you'll never get a good workout. Put some weight on the wheel. Okay, four seconds. Last of the hamstring curls. Three, two, one. Again, you can double pull, just like me right now. Or you could single out. And also, feel free to oscillate between the two. You could start with singles, Try to hit like one, two, three, even five reps of a double leg, and then go back to singles. I just want you to move and move well. That's it, you guys. We got five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Eyes on me. You have 15 seconds. This is a glute bridge. Your feet are just outside your hips. Watch me quickly. You're going to lift up with two legs, and then one leg brings you home. Lift with two. We're gonna repeat the same working leg for the first 30 seconds, and three, two, go. So both feet push, one leg brings you home. I've got my left leg bringing me home. I always think two men enter, one man leaves. That's how I remember this one. Two legs help, only one comes home with you here. Really take your time on the way down. I've got the clap, don't worry. Relax your face, drop your shoulders from your ears. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now, because I really want strength built here, we're gonna repeat that leg. I'm not giving you to rest. I'm not going to the right leg yet. So left leg is the working leg, and three, two, hips lift, left leg still working, bringing you down. If you want extra credit, I always squeeze my knees together, work some inner thigh work. This is all legs and hips today with a little bit of core. So really don't leave any reps behind. Don't take it easy. Don't wish you gave more. Give it all now. Five seconds. Four, squeeze the knees. Two, rest. Two down, two to go. If you need some water, now's the time. Five seconds. Woo, not so bad for at home, huh? Three, two, one, two feet drive, right legs in charge, bringing us down. So if you peek at me real quick, you see my knee doesn't go up and above here. I want my leg extended and parallel, that means side by side with the working leg. Do not let it come up towards your face. 
reach, and down. Press, reach, 10 more seconds, and down. You might even find one leg is stronger than the other. That's why I like to work unilaterally, or it's a fancy way of saying one side at a time. And rest. You've got one more shot there. Again, if you want to up the juice here, I want you to squeeze those legs together, light up your inner thigh, push your knees together. We're up in three, two, one, driving both legs up and gently release. If you feel too much cramp in your hamstring, bring your heel closer to your bum. Your last set here, we're moving right away to the next exercise. This 30 and 30s, it goes quickly. We'll be done in 24 minutes or less. I only guess because my math is a little rough as I get older. <laughs> Come on. We're right there. 15 seconds. Don't be passive. When you push up, squeeze the legs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You don't squeeze your butt now. No one's going to want to squeeze it later. It's one of my favorite things to say. And rest. Beautiful. Okay, eyes on me. Now's the time to grab some water. I'm opening my mat back up. And what I've got going here is we've got our clam. So you can either sit from the side like this, or you can double. It's a double-sided clam here, active cleanse. And three, two, one, I will start level one. What I really like about this is I'm working my medial glute. Right? It's this piece of muscle here that often gets avoided. So I'm gonna lift, squeeze, and pause. Lift, squeeze, and pause. <sighs> Exhale as you lift. Breathe in. <sighs> Use your breath. Three, <sighs> two, <sighs> one. Resting. Because we're working on strength and volume, we're going to repeat this hip. So ironically, when you just do the side, you without the, the, the active bottom, you feel it on the top leg. The moment we're going to go and get the bottom hip involved, you will feel it just as much on the bottom. Make sure that elbow is underneath your armpit in three, two, one. So this is an active clam. Both hips are going up. My hips are coming blue, through, so I'm flush. My hips are flush with my knee. And let's pick up the pace. I'm not crashing down. I'm extending and pushing up towards the camera. You should be mirroring me. 10 seconds. Squeeze as hard as you can. Again, nothing passive. Time for one more. Good. Switching sides. If you felt the, the first side with just the top leg was too easy. I need you to be active on both sets then. Double clam starting on set one in three, two, one. For anybody else that's still kind of getting the hang of it, I'm going to be here for level one. We're lifting. And energetically, keep moving and listen to my words here. I'm not shutting my knee open. I'm squeezing my butt back here so hard that it's making my leg move. That's the way I want you to start to think about your movement. 10 seconds here. You should already feel a bit more fatigued. And the good news is after this body, uh, I should say that after this exercise is complete, resting, uh, you're already halfway through. So we're crushing this. But the key is your focus and 100% effort in the time I give to make it effective for this kind of workout. In three, in two, if you haven't already, let's double clam. The hardest part here is getting your hips clear. It's really easy to want to let your hips stay backwards. Open, express your hip flexors. Push with that bottom leg. Breathing in. Push out. Really use your breath. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sipping some water if you need it. Next exercise are reverse crunches. This is where I'd like you to place a little bit of support of your hands here. Your head is released back and you can start with single leg crunches like so, or you can do double leg. In three, two, and go. So this always happens when I do this movement. I have that loud click. It's just a tendon in my hip 
I swear it's not painful. So I breathe in on the out and I go. Again, you can single or double. We got 10 more seconds. Single leg is the same exact motion with that little bit of hitch at the top. And rest. Another great way to go around this, if you have any lower back issues, roll up one of those towels like this, like you go to a restaurant and it's there, and put it right under your sacrum. And this will help support your pelvis. And then you're gonna be here, and we're back on, by the way, here. And for me, I'm able to get into my lower stomach more. So this is great for any women that have had, uh, is, had a baby. I don't care if it was five years ago or five months ago. This is wonderful for getting you kind of connected to that low, low ab area that's always goes through so much during the pregnancy. Um, and then often, I've got your clock, don't worry, five seconds, three, two, resting. A lot of men have trouble connecting to their pelvic floor. There's like a bowl right here. So this is what we want to try to get to and getting your pelvis in the right place helps you do that. So I love doing it this way. All right, three, two, one. This is set four. We are off the ground finally. You will have graduated to your feet, but push now. So if this still feels a little bit too much, another great way to go around low abs is tapping the heel and come center. Tap, breathe, out, in, out. Really good way to start to work that low core. Five, four, three, two, one. Resting. Wonderful job. We've got one more round. That's the thing, guys. If you've got 20, 25 minutes, I can take you anywhere. I just need you moving every day. Keep moving. All right, here we go. Last set in three, two, one. I think that's when we get in trouble. We start to... We start to take movement out. We let movement be one day apart, three days apart. Before we know it, it's three weeks apart. We think, how did we get here? Move just 20 minutes a day. Move by walking when you wake up. Move by taking my classes on these Tuesdays. Just keep moving that little bit every day. And you'll be surprised what opens up for you. I've got your clock, 10 more seconds. And I can't tell you what it is. You have to get there to know. And anybody that knows what I'm talking about is smiling with me too. <laughs> and rest. All right, take the towel out. We're on our feet. I am grabbing water. Okay, you guys. Three more movements. Totaling the 10.30s that we have left. This is gonna be challenging. I warn you ahead of time, but you're stronger than you think. You need a wall. These are wall sit leg extensions. So we're gonna be here, feet side by side, and we're gonna lift the leg, extend, down, reset. Lift, extend, down, reset. The same leg is going to work. Now my mat's moving a little bit, but I want you to feel very stable. Here we go, start a little bit higher on the wall if you need to, and three, two, one, and go. Lift, extend, down, reset, lift. Extend. I just like to poke my leg where I want it to fire, putting that mind behind that muscle. Excellent work. This is not about going fast. I want you stable. The sneaky part of this exercise is my base leg, the one that's not extending, is working just as hard as my other one. And rest. Because of that, we are going to alternate this time. We're not going to double up a side. So we're going to go right back in to our seated position. My other leg, my right leg was moving. Now it's going to be my anchor. And my other leg's going to go. And up we go. Extend, down, and down. Up, lift, down, and down. Whenever you start to burn, whenever you mentally start to want to quit, relax your forehead. Simplify. Just move. I count one, two, three, and four. I just keep counting to four over and over in my head. Listen for me to say go and stop. Otherwise, be on your own journey. Stop and time. Back to the other leg. 
Left is my base, right is the mover. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, just a lift. Two, in, four, one. Squeeze, three, four, one, two, three. Maintain it, creating strength, stability, finding yourself a little closer to extension every time, holding, pausing at the top, maybe showing yourself something that you didn't realize you could do. Three, two, one, and a rest. That's the beauty of working out. It teaches things about ourselves, shows us things that we didn't maybe believe in ourselves or trust in ourselves that now you showed you could do and now we can see it so we can believe it. That's the key to training. Five, four, last extensions here. Two, one, lift, extend, in, reset. I'm pushing my head into the wall, almost letting it lay there. My bottom leg is firing. I'm mean, I'm trying to milk that pause at the top. And down. Breathe through it. I've said it a million times, but I mean it. When you breathe, you can move better. Five, four, three, two, one. Recovery. Okay. So this last skill, from the leg standpoint, it's a little bit advanced. We're gonna hit two sides, back to back. I'm gonna start with my left leg. There's two levels. Level one, you start with the leg back. You have what I call like a kickstand. So it's a runner's lunge. So you're gonna lean and a little hop. Lean, and I want you to stop and go. Stop and go. If you're more advanced, you are not putting this leg down. No kickstand. You're gonna lean and jump. Lean and jump. So we get a little bit more of our hamstring and button there. Okay, I'm tightening my watch. You lucky ducks, you got a little extra rest. We're going in five seconds. Push out old air. Three, two, leg of your choice, go first. I like to look at a point about three to four feet in front of me. And you can notice I'm not going super high off the ground. I mean, consistent, slightly off balance, but consistent. Le leaving and landing in the same spot, loading my hamstring, my glute, and my quad. Five, four, three, two, rest. You know what I'm about to say. We gotta redo that leg again. Twice in the leg, come on. You're near the end. Five. Four, three. This is what it's about. And go. It's about moving when you don't want to move. It's about trying when you're scared how it's going to turn out. It's about showing up for yourself because that's what's going to create the best results for you. And it has to start and end with you. That's the only way you earn it and own it. Come on, stay with me. No one stops. Whew. Oh, five. Four, I'm all balanced. That's three, two, one, other side. I'm looking at my clock and I'm getting off balance. My bad. Great set. Seven seconds, we're going to the other leg. Back to back sets. Three, two, one. Reach and hop. Again, for level one, you keep that kickstand and you be athletic with your arms and push. But I do want everyone just to gently leave the earth. Even if it's your heel just coming off the ground like that. Lift and come back. Lift and come back. Don't worry about anything else, just your body. Three, two, resting. Especially now, don't look at the screen. Right, stay in your place, your zone, your body. Six seconds we go. Five, three, two, one. Last set here. If you've been trying to kickstand and you want to go for more, now is the time. That's 
it. 10 seconds. Keep all that balance like I just did. Don't worry, just get back in. Five, four, three, two, one. It only happens when I look at the clock. Okay, last exercise. We're only doing a double. We're at this point, we're at 28, 30s, 29, and 30 is a full V up. Option one is a single leg. Option two is a double leg, okay? Please do not bring your feet to your head. I need you to meet right in the middle. Let's start in five, four, only two sets. This is all out, this is the end. And go. All the way open, all the way close. And again, if two legs feel like too much, leave one behind, but meet in the middle there. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. I picked this specifically at the end. This is a hard movement to do four rounds of. That's why it's our 29th and 30th set. 30 30s is all coming down to this last one. Give me what you got. I'll pull you down after. Three. Woo! Two. One. And go. chest. You need to be pushing harder. It doesn't mean what you did today wasn't enough, but when we do these 30 30s, that's what it's about. It's about a max go in the short amount of time. 30 seconds, it's, you know, it's a Super Bowl commercial. So do me a favor, give me about two more minutes just to stretch it. I want one leg in, one leg out. I'm looking at my clock. Let's see. That was about 24 minutes of work, yeah. 24, that's all it takes just to get started, just to get going. I'll be doing this every week, giving you more combinations, layering what you can expect from me is progression. You can always expect strength. For right now, I'm gonna focus on body weight exercises. However, if you can get your hands in a kettlebell or a mini circle band, wink, wink, you're gonna need them. Switching legs. You're gonna find that my classes are far more than movement. And yes, I'll get you the results you want, your waistline will shrink, but I promise you more life, quality of life, energy, happiness, pride, change. But you do have to keep showing up. Both feet straight ahead. This one's a little bit unique. I do want you to put your hands on your knees or your shins, and I want you to sit as tall as you can, reaching the crown of your head to the ceiling, and I kind of want you to reach and flare your tailbone, and I want you to reach your back and get really tall, and then lean forward. You'll find that you can't go very far. I'm trying to get your sacrum to stretch a little bit, so stay there with me. I find it. We do all the sitting, it gets tight. Deep breath, kind of reset. And I want you to just roll over. I don't care where your hands go. I just want your neck to let go. You're gonna feel a lot of stretching along your spine. I feel it in my two toughest points, which is in my neck and my low back. Some people feel it in their mid back. Whatever it is for you, just hang and take one more deep breath into where it hurts. Where there's resistance, just give it love. Hang and gently climb up and walk up. Okay, that's that team. Uh, well done today. It was an experiment of a template, but I think it kicked ass and so did you. 
So you have a week here. I'll always reveal a new exercise or a new workout. Okay, that was fun. I hope to see you again soon and go to weedastrong.com to sign up for all things Jen and I can keep you in my loop or else Hank will come after you. Yeah, I got the new moves, call me <laughs>